Welcome to our lecture online. So what if we have a graph and we appear to have a linear correlation where we draw a scatter graph or a scatter diagram and then we draw a best fit line. And again to help us we came up with our initial data set with push-ups and sit-ups for 10 students that we tested. All right, how do we interpret these results? Well, first of all, what can we conclude? There appears to be a moderate to strong linear relationship. You can see that the points are not that far away from what we deem to be approximately the best fit line. We have roughly the same number of points on one side versus the other side that indicates that it's probably close to the correct uh, line for a best fit line. And so we can see that all the points, except maybe for one here, are relatively close to that to that line, which means that there's a fairly strong, maybe moderate to strong relationship or linear correlation between the two. In other words, the, the co uh, correlation coefficient probably is somewhere in the neighborhood of 0 0.7, 0 0.8 or something like that. Next, we can see that students that can do more push-ups can also do more sit-ups. As the number of push-ups increases, the number of sit-ups increase. So there's a positive correlation between the two. And you can then say, well, if a student tests and does a lot of push-ups, we can probably expect that student to also do a lot of sit-ups. And then we can also see, based upon the slope of that line, so we can see that this is basically the rise over the run, the change in the number of sit-ups versus the change in the number of push-ups is about 0.7 on that graph. So you can see that if a student can do 10 more push-ups, they can probably do about 7 more sit-ups. So you can see that there's a lot to be gained by drawing a scatter diagram and by drawing a line representing the best fit line and then seeing what the correlation is between the two data sets. What we cannot tell is, for example, that if this, that this was either a random sample or just student athletes that were, that were tested. So we really don't know if because we didn't get that information. And secondly, was this only men or only women or was this a combination of men and women and of course that might change the data as well and again no information about that either so there's a certain kind of things that we cannot tell and we probably want to get more information to get more accurate um, representation of the relationship between push-ups and sit-ups because certainly they would be different if you had a group of men or a group of college women doing the testing Anyway, you can see that very quickly by drawing a graph like that and getting the correlation factor between the two and or correlation uh, coefficient as we call it and by seeing how closely related the data is to the best fit line, we can tell quite a bit of things and that is how it's done.